it going? I hope you're enjoying the piano lesson so far, not getting too overwhelmed. I know how it feels when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like there's just too much information and you're never going to get it because I'm taking French lessons and it's quite complicated for me. But we're all going to get there. It's just taking it one step at a time slowly, just staying in the moment, not worrying about the future, but just thinking, what am I trying to learn today? What little skill am I trying to learn today to move me forward? When you're doing your exercises, if you start seeing, you know, some of your fingers just sort of jumping up like that or like that, um, that's just a normal part of being a beginner and it is just a weakness in your fingers and your hands or your arms. So when you see that happening, just sort of will that finger down, <laughs> uh, just remind it to come down. This is something you can do during exercises because you're not so involved in playing with two hands and things like you are when you're playing a song or piece. So when you're doing an exercise, when you see those fingers just jumping up, just pull them down and try to remind yourself. Eventually, that's gonna get better. Your fingers will become more agile and your arms stronger. Also, um, you've probably realized now that on the keyboard, as well as every other musical instrument, we only have seven letters, A through G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that just keep repeating, repeating. So what you want to do is keep practicing that little exercise we did in our first lesson, where you just keep going up and down the keyboard playing A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, etc and trying it starting from every key, D, E, F, all up and down the keyboard, um, G, A, B, and then B, C, D, etc. You wanna keep practicing that so that eventually you can get rid of your strip and just be able to play without it. But that takes a while. It really takes some time. So don't worry if you still have the strip in, that's fine, but keep practicing seeing those keys three at a time, A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. Okay, I also wanted to talk about practice. Remember that it's best to do short daily practice sessions. I do that for my French as well. Try to put it into your calendar, whatever kind of calendar you have. I just started using Google Calendar because you can put in colored blocks. So I can put in me time, I can put in household chore time, I can put in lesson time, and I can put in all these different colored blocks for the things that I want to do. That doesn't work for everybody. Not everybody really wants to be scheduled like that. But however it works for you, try to put it in your calendar daily so that even if you don't get to it every day, at least you'll be reminded and maybe you'll get to your practice three or four days a week. That would be great. If you could do three, four days a week for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you're gonna keep moving forward and you're gonna do great. Some people were asking me why I light that candle at the beginning of my first video in my lessons and I'll tell you I love candles when I light a candle I feel like I'm setting aside a special kind of me time experience and when I light a candle it means I'm not going to be disturbed during this time and this is something special that I'm doing for myself and something that feels really good and so I hope that it feels like something you're doing for yourself as well and when I light the candle you can light one too or I'm lighting it for both of us just to put that time aside and make it a special time something that we do for ourselves something that we truly love and that it feels beneficial emotionally spiritually as well as for our brain and just for general enjoyment so that's what's up with the candle <laughs>